computers now have primary control of critical vehicle functions.
I keep forgetting to take mute off. Hi everyone, welcome to the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. You heard right, the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. Uh, as you can see, I was adjusting a few things there, but this just came out today. Um, by Sega. This is an official game by Sega. I don't know how long they were developing this, but it's got overwhelmingly positive reviews on Steam. It's only on Steam, and it's completely free. So uh, I don't know if it's a limited time thing or something, but I highly suggest checking it out like I'm going to do today here. So let's give this a shot. I turned off the music so you guys can listen to that pretty chill music there. All right, here we go. Uh, new game. So I uh, can't wait to see how this goes. Phew, made it on the train 15 minutes ahead of schedule. So far, so good for my first day on the job. Oh, your day's about to get a lot worse. Oh, I totally forgot my name tag isn't ready yet. I should make one. I'll just sign my name here. Hello, my name is... Um... I'll just... You don't look like a firefly. Furby! No, that's probably copyrighted. Furzy! There we go. That's my name. Furzy! Did I spell that right? Yes. Hope passengers can read my scribble. <laughs> he literally, like, safety pinned it onto his vest. Oh, it's pretty! The dining car. Alright, just making sure that's right. Uh oh, am I nervous? Is this first day on the job jitters? Working the train's dining car can't be so bad. Come on, Furzy, shake it off. Slap! Furzy, did I uh, just see you hitting yourself? M Mr. Conductor, sir, how are you doing this morning? Ho ho ho, quite alright myself, though feeling a little bittersweet. Is that because you're sweet? <laughs> Is everything alright? Well, truth be told, not really. Alas, today's my last day as conductor. I'm retiring after 32 wonderful years. Good job on your service, sir. Time for me and the Mirage Express to say goodbye to one another. Oh, congratulations on retirement, sir. Thank you. My wife is very excited about it. She's already got our flight tickets to Spagonia locked. Our shower's been on the fritz, so I'm excited to use the hotels. <laughs> I can see why his wife's excited. Enough of my quibbles. Today's your first day working the dining car. Here's the menu for today. Menu added to your inventory. I can open the inventory any time a few items I've received. I should look over the menu carefully. Menu. Okay. Features chili dog, instant ramen, and chicken cordon bleu. Blue. I know who's going to get the chili dog. Cool. Thank you. Why do you look so nervous? All we have on the train is a microwave. ha <laughs> ha! Though, I'm sure a little quiz is in order. Which of these do we serve in the dining car? Chicken cord on blow. Ding, ding, ding! Glad you can read the menu, okay? Ah! A little about the vessel. This is a state-of-the-art, high-speed, smart train with all the latest gadgets. This train can really handle anything you throw at it. We've had a lot of adventures together, me and this train. It's not easy to leave. After 32 years, I don't blame them for being wistful. This train is exclusively, exclusively used for events. It's not a passenger train. I remember that from the interview. What's the event today? A murder mystery party. Nothing better than some thrills to end my tenure as a conductor. Guess we'll be funneled here to the dining car as a home base, so to speak. I'll be with you to gather tickets, but after that you'll be on your own. So I'll need you to do everything in your power to make sure our paying guests are well taken care of. Understood? I'll make you proud, sir. <laughs> Glad this old man can rest easy. Doors to the Mirage Express are opening. All aboard. It's cool. Pretty. Amy Knuckles. I can't tell who the other guy is. Amy! So this is like Clue, but with Sonic characters. If this is... I love it. Wow, this train is incredible. What fascinating tech. You're right, Tails. I can, use to, I can get used to staying on a train like this. Vector! Hey, man. What did you all expect? You know I always go all out for my birthday party. Is that why you got a birthday crown? This train's as elegant as you are, Amy. Can't promise I won't make... I won't take anything, though. Hey, Rouge. Calm down there, Rouge. Did I not just catch you stealing from a train station gift shop? <laughs> hey, Knuckles. It was a pen, Knucklehead. Who's gonna miss a teeny tiny pen? What a cast of characters am I stuck with? Get a hold of yourself, Furzy. You're sweating through your uniform. 
Hey, pal, can I get one of those chili dogs? Radio friend, why aren't you friendly? Why can't I be normal for one second? <laughs> Sonic, wait until I announce everyone's rolls to get food. Uh, sorry about that, birthday girl. I'll be coming around to collect everyone's tickets. Please have them out and ready. You'll join me, Furzy, won't you? Just click on whoever you like to talk with and we'll collect their ticket. Uh, okay, got it. Yo! Okay, so... Alright, so we got Knuckles, we got Tails, Sonic, Espio, Vector, Shadow, who obviously didn't want to come, Amy, Blaze, Rouge, so cool! Alright, I'll stuck with Knuckles. Howdy, could I please get your ticket? I think that's a ticket? <laughs> but I really don't want to argue with this guy. Everything looks good, thank you! Seems the conductor doesn't want to argue either. <laughs> Can I get your ticket, youngin? It's perfect. Right here, sir! Thank you, may I offer you any of the snacks we have on board? No thank you, when I travel I always pack my own sparkling, sparkling gelatin. It's a sparkly jelly that can melt any jaded heart. No way, I brought my own sparkle gelatin with me too. It's my first day and I was a little nervous. Don't be nervous, you're doing great so far. We're sparkle gelatin buddies. <laughs> Absolutely. If you need anything, just let us know. Thank goodness someone on this train is normal. <laughs> hey, Sonic. Ticket, please. Thank you. Thank you kindly. Happy to have someone as renowned as yourself aboard. Hey! Don't worry about it. I just like helping. When Eggman took over, I truly feared the worst, but my kids swore you would swoop it eventually, and you did. I wonder if this is taking place after Sonic Forces. I can't offer much other than my sincere gratitude. Don't sweat a thing. I'm glad you and your family are safe. Wait a second. Is he Sonic the Hedgehog? I promise you an excellent stay on, your train, on our train, Sonic. Have fun now. Yes, have fun now. Will do. Thanks. Freak out. <laughs> Espio! Can we please see your ticket? Of course. Excellent. Thank you, and I thank you, and I hope you enjoy your stay with us. Absolutely, I appreciate it. There's a calmness about him. Something about his presence puts me at ease. Espio, my bro. You consider me calming? He's looking right at me. A study ninjutsu. I believe one can communicate through the subconscious. Wow, ninjutsu. Ninjutsu. That sounds like a lot of difficult training. Can you cling onto walls? Cling onto walls? What kind of question is that? I most certainly can. The conductor looks a bit too smug at that answer. <laughs> Vector! Hello, my friend. Can I get your ticket? Uh, yeah, sure, of course. As a gentleman of upstanding morals, I'd love to show you my ticket. He seems to be avoiding eye contact. Is something amiss, sir? I seem to have a misplaced my ticket. <laughs> Could you speak up a bit? I couldn't quite hear. I misplaced my ticket. I don't know where it is. He is not hiding his embarrassment very well. Don't you worry. We'll take a look around for you and see if it turns up. Oh, that would be amazing. Thanks a million. Seems as though we should keep our eyes peeled for his ticket. Hmm, yummy. Don't mind if I do. Furzy, those are for our guests, you know. Trey, be sure Furzy only gets one of the those if they ask. But, okay. Did the arm just kind of nod? Actually, a train, the conductor wants me to have the whole plate. <laughs> Good try, young buck. The train and I have worked together a long time. You'll have to work harder than that to get what you want. Drat! Those snacks look really tasty, too. Give me the whole thing. Oh, hang on. Sorry, let's part the bottle. Here it is! What's sticking out of the napkin holder? Say, wasn't someone looking for their ticket earlier? Let's be sure to return this to its rightful owner. And let's make sure no one uses their ticket as a napkin. Okay, cool. Anything else I can interact with here? Any goodies? Alright, Vector. Yes. Okay. Yep. Well, we just might have what you need. Frazy, why don't you show our friend we'll hear what we picked up? Alright, here it is. This one. Ah, there it is! That's my ticket! Thanks so much to you both! Was really worried you kicked me out. I missed the murder mystery. Ho oh, ho, old Furzy here would have had their hands full kicking you out. You're right, I wouldn't leave without a fight. Ha 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 ha! Wait, who made me both microwave expert and security guard? You're both alright in my book. Thanks again for the assist. Of course, just let us know if you need anything else. Alright, Amy. Can I please get the birthday girl's ticket? 
<laughs> Why, certainly! Thank you, miss, and thank you for choosing our fine train for your birthday festivities. Well, the birthday discount certainly helped. Who doesn't love a good bargain? And a murder mystery train just sounds so exciting, it's right up my alley. Who doesn't love a good thrill? You see, I'm a girl who loves a good true crime podcast. Maybe we should leave her to have fun. Before we move along for you, miss. Oh, have fun! Thank you! Where do I use this? That unlocks any door on the train. Happy birthday! The birthday girl gets the birthday key. It's for, it's practically tradition. Very useful! We'll use this wisely. Thank you! Oh, Shadow. Here. <laughs> Thank you. Everything is in order. He seems concerned about something. Is there anything we can help you with? Do you sell gift bags here? Uh, oh, uh, no, sadly, but I haven't passed a grocery bag in the back I could get for you. That stare is so cold. Furzy, you're shivering. Do you need me to fetch you your jacket? Ah, uh, no, no, I'm good. Dude, Shadow's like, don't you dare. Please! May I have your ticket, please? Thank you very much. On top of it, I see. A princess such as myself must always be punctual. A princess? Did she just say princess? You don't mind me asking, are you visiting from somewhere? A separate dimension, actually. A separate what? Just here for Amy's birthday, then I'll hop back to my own dimension. I quite prefer the birthday cake from this world more than my own, so I admit I'm a, I'm a bit excited. Oh, you don't say! Well, I hope you enjoy your stay, princess. Should I bow? Do I bow before a princess? What are you doing? Please get up. Why can I not win with this group? <laughs> Rouge! Well, hello, you two. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, hello, you two. What can I do for you? Good morning, ma'am. Can we get your ticket? My, my, how for? Let me fetch it for you. Come back if you need anything else, you hear? Wow, she's so polite. Very easy to talk to as well. Ma'am, I saw you sneak that $20 bill out of my pocket. Gonna have to ask, kindly ask for that back. Oh, this was yours? Must have slipped out. Here you go. I may not actually be the best at judging character. <laughs> Okay, everyone! Time for me to read out everyone's roles for the murder mystery! And that's my cue to leave. I must prepare the driver's compartment for departure. Ah, the conductor's car. You remember our promise, yeah? You'll do everything in your power to make sure our guests have a safe and enjoyable time on the Mirage Express? Absolutely, you can count on me. To be honest, this group seems plenty capable on their own. And trade? Ask this Furzy if they need any help, won't you? Ah, that's all I need to hear. You have my trust. Nothing more heartwarming than a conductor in his train. Excellent. I'll be off. I must take my leave, everyone. Please have a phenomenal time. And don't worry about mucking up the place either. This train is state-of-the-art and has systems for dealing with all that. For everything else, please talk to Furzy here if you need anything. Sounds good. Absolutely. Will do. Goodbye now. I like that guy. Thank you all for following the outfit guy I sent you. You all look amazing. I trust you all read your lore cards as well. Lore cards? That must be the details of their motivations. I suppose it makes sense lore cards aren't read out loud. Otherwise, people will know the murderer's intentions. Now on to the nitty gritty. For the murder mystery game, one of you will be murdered and the rest suspects. Everyone has assigned roles for characters they will be playing. Participation is required for it is my birthday. <laughs> of course. Is this... Okay, good. I want to save. Here we go. Okay. Of course! Birthday girl makes the rules. Sonic, you are a ship captain. You'll be stationed in the conductor car. Naturally, that's where the captain would go. Tails, you are the detective. You'll be here in the dining car. Indubitably. Knuckles, you're the sheriff around these parts. We'll find you in the saloon. Got it. Rouge, you're a business tycoon. And Blaze, you're a titan of industry, both in the casino. What's the difference? There is none. Hmm. Sounds fun. Vector, you're the butcher, and Espio the poet, both found in the library. Hear that, Espio? We get to hang out together. And do what, Reed? Maybe we can make a tower of books or something. Shadow is the locksmith hanging on the lounge. It's like, why am I here? <laughs> Amy probably would have beat him up if he didn't agree to come. And last but not least, me, the journalist reporter. I'll be moseying around with everyone. Did you get all that? Yes. Ah, oh, I was listening in. Hope that's okay. More than alright. You can help ensure everyone's following their rules. Oh, that reminds me. Yay, a map! I have a map for each of you. 
Everyone's station is marked on this map as well. How convenient. Map added to your inventory. Okay. The rules of the game are as follows. There is a murderer amongst you all. The murderer can kill a single participant however they choose, but you must physically be present with the victim for it to count. Everyone else must collect evidence throughout the train and use it to interrogate fellow passengers to figure out who done it. The murderer will lie to get out of being accused, so inspect everything you can, find clues, and interrogate. I'll set a timer for one hour so everyone can mingle and the murderer can do their thing. Is everyone ready? Sounds like everyone's excited. Everyone to your stations! This is so exciting! A mystery is unfolding right under our very noses. This is like so much fun. Like, I can't stop grinning. How thrilling, I have goosebumps. Same! Ah, isn't it awesome? Shouldn't you two be out there mingling with everyone? Well, actually, the detective and the journalist can't be the murderer. So we're stuck here for an hour before going out and scoping out the place. This way, there's always a neutral party. Makes sense to me. Seems as though Amy's more excited about deciphering the mystery anyways. What do you think everyone's doing? Oh, probably inspecting their stations and talking amongst one another. Everyone has roles to play, so they must be exploring their characters. Do you know what their character motivations are, Amy? No, the lore cards are confidential. No one knows but the person who received them. My backstory is that I was best friends with the Flicky that decided to join the evil Dr. Eggman, kickstarting my desire for justice in the world. My lore is that I'm a nosy person turned journalist. Not gonna lie, this kind of sounds fun. Wish I wasn't stuck on microwave duty. Uh oh. The train started moving! It's so fast! Grab onto something! What is going on? Ah, I'm slipping! Hold on! I can't! Ah, ah! No! I'm still having a great time. Oh, it's blocked. You're both awake! Y yeah. It seems the train has slowed down considerably. Oh my gosh, Tails is adorable. Is everyone alright? Yeah, my head's spinning a bit, but I'm okay. Seems we've been knocked into the dining car's closet. This train can reach sudden incredible, such incredible speeds. We're getting our money's worth with this experience, that's for sure. Is this actually intended? It's my first day, so I'm not really sure. I don't recall them warning me about this in the interview. We should go check on the others. Furzy, could you get the door? Of course. Hmm, seems the door is blocked and I don't think it's budging. Amy, give that fallen shelf a whack with your pico pico hammer. Let's find another way out. I'll uh, start looking for clues. I'll search over here. I know Amy, she's hiding something. Uh huh? I suppose she did wake up before us. Something could have happened. Listen, I know I'm the detective here, but all the best detectives have sidekicks. I'm gonna need your help. Let's gather clues on why Amy's acting this way and interrogate her about it. I think it's because she left it at home. Check out everything you can around this closet, then we'll show it the to Amy to uncover the full situation. Gather evidence and interrogate. Got it. Okay. I'll need you to do everything in your power to make sure our paying guests are well taken care of, understood? Yep. You can count on me, Tails. I won't turn evil like your ex flicky companion did. Happy to hear it. Now let's get searching. Ah, oh, the wet floor sign keeping the people alert and safe. Once I slipped on some spilled juice at the grocery store. No wet floor sign at all. Luckily, Sonic was there to catch me. Wow, Sonic really is as fast as they say. But he was going so fast he also slipped all the juice. <laughs> we slid to an older gentleman's shopping cart. Well, it's a thought that counts, I suppose. Shelf block area is currently not budging. Hey, Verzi, look closely at this. Oh? I wonder how this side of the shelf got smashed. There's nothing the shelf could have fallen into, and I'm sure this damage wasn't here before. The train has too much upkeep. I feel like this is important. We should log it. Crack on the shelf, okay? Anything up here I can mess with? No, microwave. Something's always hidden in the trash. Let's check there. Sadly, it's empty. But on the bright side, this is a very clean trash bin. How do I become as optimistic as this kid? What do we got here? What's this, a rod? The tip is broken. It looks to have originally, originally been attached to something. I'm not sure if it's related to our mystery, but I like spinning it around, so we'll keep it. 
stick his head to your inventory. I think we found enough clues. Let's go interrogate Amy and find out what really happened. What's with his face? What's the latest? Find any clues yet? I found a spoon. If we find two more, we could dig ourselves out. Dig ourselves out on a train. I'll keep looking. Okay, yeah, okay. Start interrogation. Amy, we believe you're hiding something from us. What? You accused me on my own birthday? How dare you? This isn't going to be easy, is it? I've been stuck in here just like the two of you. What in the world do you think I'm hiding? Amy was awake before Tails and I were. What could she have done in that time? Attempted to escape? I don't think you were sitting, like, sitting idly while Furzy and I were knocked out. You attempted to escape the closet. Prove it! Show me the evidence I attempted to escape or help me search for a way out. Do we have evidence to prove that? Furzy, let me help you through this. First, find the correct use of evidence from your inventory. Once that has been deduced, we must form our argument to fight back. Alright, let's do it. What proofs Amy attempt to escape the dining car closet? A crack on the shelf. What, some damage on the shelf is supposed to prove something? It fell over. Damage makes sense. You have no argument here. You grasp it. Okay. Uh, well, now we follow this train of thought. How does the crack on the shelf relate to Amy? Uh... Well, I get stumped. When I get stumped, I like to think, what would Sonic do? What would Sonic do? Sonic's a force to be reckoned with. He always runs forward, collecting reins, crushing bad nicks, and never loses. Like like an endless runner game. I play a lot of those on my phone. Uh, sure, whatever works. Just close your eyes and think. What would Sonic do and find your argument? Trade your thought and come to a combat. Okay. Oh, what? Okay, uh, I'm ready now. I was not expecting this. What? Okay. I guess that's my idea. Sure, the shelf fell, but there's nothing around for the shelf to fall into. You're telling me on a train this well kept, the damage here was here before we arrived? Well, I... I believe someone was responsible for hitting the shelf. You just said nothing was around for the shelf to fall into. What was the shelf hit with then? The stick. What is that, a stick? You truly believe the stick could do this kind of damage? Okay, again? Oh crap. Okay, let's try that again. Okay. Okay. Woo, barely made it. I like this Pixel Sonic though. You're right, a stick can't do this kind of damage to the shelf on its own. Oh, I could actually just use spacebar. But if it's attached to something, it could, like let's say, a hammer. Eh! This isn't just a stick at all, is it? This is actually the handle to your Pico Pico hammer. You attempted to hit the shelf out of the way, but you failed. The handle to your hammer snapped right off. Ah! Both of you said, I tried to get us all out with my hammer, but I failed. I gave this shelf one big whack and the handle ripped right off. I figured it was no big deal and tried to hide it, but I suppose my embarrassment got the better of me. She does look genuinely sorry about the situation. I never expected your hammer to snap like that, Amy. It was one of my backups. It's a little lighter to carry around. I didn't think I'd need it. Well, lucky for you, I'm a detective. I dabble as a mechanic. Let me see both pieces of the hammer. Just tying things here, a little elbow grease there, and fixed. Tails, thank you! According to my calculations, if you hit the shelf right here, it should do the trick. All right, stand back! Th the shelf completely shattered. Incredible! We did it! We're free! Great job, Amy! Let's get out of here! This is so much fun. Oh my god, the dining room's a wreck! Save. 
Okay, yeah. Wait, is that... Sonic! It can't be! Sonic! Someone murdered my darling Sonic! <laughs> She's so happy. <laughs> Looks like the game's begun. I'm finding out who did this at once. Amy, wait, I want to figure out who did this too. Wait for me. What a whirlwind. I'm exhausted already. That was really convincing, Sonic. Sonic? Uh, body numb. Can't move. What are you saying? I don't understand. I just need to rest. Sonic? Sonic? Is he actually hurt? He's not moving. Are these wounds on him genuine? My hand's on his wrist, but I don't sense a pulse. Am I doing this right? What in the world is going on? Is this part of the murder mystery, or is this serious? Sonic? Sonic! Oh no! I feel myself panicking. Calm down, Furzy. What do I do? I need you to do everything in your power to make sure our paying guests are well taken care of, understood? These guests are incredibly renowned, which means they must be remarkably rich. So I leave their care to you, Furzy, my favorite employee. Truly won't let me down this last ride. <laughs> he didn't say that. I need to catch up to Amy and Tails and get to the bottom of this. Even this is part of the game, I just can't risk it. I'll keep everyone safe, Conductor. You'll see. Give him some rings! He'll be fine if you give him rings. The murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> this is so messed up, but so fun at the same time. Slim. Okay, well, apparently he already lost the arcade game. Omo Chow is wanted! Nobody wants freaking Omo Chow. That's hilarious. Whoa, look at this place. I've looked around, I don't see her. I think Amy's already gone on ahead. Seems she's really excited. Did you need something from me? Um, yeah, just a question, really. How do I put this? What if Sonic is actually hurt? <laughs> he's, he's laughing? Sonic doesn't go down so easily. He's on a train full of his friends, and nothing would actually happen to him. We're just all really committed to the mystery for Amy. You have nothing to worry about, I promise. Plus, Sonic likes to nap in a lot of strange spots. He's fine. He's making a lot of sense, but I can't shake what Sonic said to me. Is this really part of the murder mystery game, or is there something deeper happening? I need more evidence to figure out what's going on. If you don't mind, is it cool if I tag along with you? Oh, of course, sure! Now, if I ever need a snack, you've got me. Ha, ah, fair. As I said, the best detectives are sidekicks, so I'm happy to have you. If you ever catch me looking glum, though, just know it's because, uh... Where's my war card? The last guy to work a case with me ditched our practice to join the evil Dr. Eggman. Not a proper detective without baggage. This is true. You varmints, where are y'all doing in my saloon? He's trying so hard to stay in character. Knuckles, we're trying to figure out who murdered Sonic. I can see that. A Amy moseyed through and told me all about it. <coughs> Enough of that. I wonder how long he kept that voice up for Amy. We were wondering if you could tell us where you were up, what you were up to before the murder. Anything to help establish your alibi and... Nope, I have nothing to tell either of you. Leave me alone. He's obviously agitated about something, but why take it out on us? I know better than to argue with Knuckles, so it seems we're on our own. Where is he? We need to figure out what Knuckles was up to while we were all apart. Let's investigate for clues, then interrogate. Right, let's do it. Clearly, we won't be able to give the game Super Monkey Ball. Try Super Monkey Ball! <laughs> Do we think it broke when the trade sped up? The damages look more to be caused from punches? Who could have done that? <laughs> Just that look. What are you two looking at me for? Smash Arcade is added to your inventory. Something's always in the trash. Check there. Sadly, this one is empty as well. I'm starting to think your theory on something always being hidden in the trash is flawed. It's only a matter of time, Tails. Have faith. It's as they say, one man's trash is another man's treasure, haha. <laughs> I think Tails is ignoring me. <laughs> what we got here? Ah, the bowl of assorted nuts, a classic saloon snack. Crash, crash, crash. Kinda of bland. Huh, oh, seems like someone licked all the salt off of them. What? <laughs> or maybe they're just unsalted. <laughs> just sheer panic. Furzy, this is interesting. 
What is? It's just a few used cups. Sure, but why are there three? Uh, Knuckles was really thirsty? Furzy, this one has lipstick on the rim. Rouge? That's not Knuckles' color at all. Someone else must have been here. We should log this. Okay. I think we found enough clues. Let's go interrogate Knuckles and find out what really happened. No, I want to explore a bit. The, rob ar the robot arms here are really helpful. What's the arm doing to my hair? He fixed it up a bit. That's incredible. But what's in one interesting check? Uh-oh, should I fear for my job a little bit? How well can it microwave? <laughs> and nothing else over here. Oh, that's funny. The door's locked tight. We can't go any further. I wonder how Amy was able to leave that. Good point. When were those... When were these doors locked and how long were they locked for? We'll have to keep this in mind. She was given the birthday key. Knuckles! I thought I told you to leave me alone. I like your hat. <laughs> Knuckles, are you blushing? I said leave me alone. It doesn't look like he's used to being complimented. Did you just adjust your hat a bit so we can see it better? I said leave! Can I take your order? Uh, not hungry. Well, if you ever are, you'll let me know, won't you? Sure, like a butler sorts, right? Come on, Furzy, you're not a butler, tell him that. Oh uh, yeah, like a butler! <laughs> Excellent, thank you, butler. Dang it! <laughs> uh, star interrogation. Knuckles, Furzy and I think need to determine what you were doing during the hour the murder took place. I already told you, buzz off, you're not getting anything out of me. Thankfully, we don't need you to say much. What happened here is pretty obvious. It is? We have evidence, too. We do? Furzy, just take a good look at our inventory. What was distracting Knuckles during the time Sonic was murdered? The game. This one. The arcade machine? Ha! What makes you think I touched it? You freaking punched it, man. You pummeled it. All right, three rings for this. Or 30 rings, I should say. Uh, I'm not gonna make it. Try again. Uh, well, you see, okay. Yes, I'm trying, okay? Train of thought. I got it. I really need to get to the other side of that. No! I really, really wish. Oh, I got 30 exactly. Good. This isn't a tough one, Knuckles. Knuckles, you clearly touched the arcade machine because... The arcade cat is covered in punches! What else do you have that damages or punches? What are you all staring at my hands for? Knuckles, you clearly destroyed the arcade machine, but why? I need a punching bag and none were available to me. Just a sudden urge to punch, huh? I believe repairing the arcade machine will give us our answer. H how will you... I'm on it! Furzy, distract Knuckles while I fix Super Monkey Ball. Bring it on! You had Rouge come over! Don't deny it! Okay. Oh no! Ah! Uh, let's try that again. Okay. Really? Seriously, I hit jump! Ah, oh, crap. Alright, spot. Okay, finally! God. <sighs> the arcade machine is fixed! No, don't look at the scores! Quick, look at the scores! I'm pulling it up now. Vector beat you? Okay, what does this tell us? Nothing, obviously. Vector, knuckles, toast, apple bread, ultim, bagel, candy. Who's ultim? Who's ultimate? 
You didn't get bit by, uh, defeated by infinite, did you? Nothing, obviously. It tells us something, Massive. Look at the name on the top list. It's Vector. He's supposed to be the library car. Ugh. Pictures begin to be painted here. You competed with Vector to see you get through the highest score. And Vector beat you. And in frustration, you destroy the arcade cabinet. Ugh. He's punching the air in frustration. You're guessing. What's your proof? Where's your evidence? Vector's a common name. Prove to me he was here now. Okay. Sure. Okay, let's try that again. Okay. Really? Wow, I was so off. Let's try that again. Okay. All right, let's try that one more time. Okay. Ah, no, no, no! Shoot! Okay, come on. This is so hard, but I love it. Oh! Come on! No, I went too far over! Stop it! Oh my god! Okay. I wish that these were skippable, but. Okay, come on! Oh my god, I finally got it! Whoo! Okay. Oh, that was pain. All right. Now, Furzy, what proves Victor was here with Knuckles? This here, use cups. No! I thought it was strange there was more than one cup sitting next to you. Well, you're supposed to be participating in the murder mystery game for Amy's birthday. You and Vector enjoyed some drinks, playing arcade. It's, I'm, it's, it's not like, it's not, I wasn't, I, don't, don't tell Amy! I think we're on the right track here. So as you say, say, Vector popped in at the top of the hour wanting to play the arcade machine for me. We went back and forth trying to figure the game out, but when we did, we competed for the highest score. When he bested me, I destroyed the machine. No proof of his win. I was trying to fix the arcade cabinet before you two came in, honest. I didn't want to be caught. And yeah, that's my story. And alibi. I've already told an abridged version of this to Amy. Boy, this red group has a lot of pride issues. <laughs> Well, that explains why they use cups. What are the cup with the lipstick mark? Rouge was in here too. <gasps> it's inconsequential, not worth mentioning. She searched around for something but failed, made fun of our game, and left. Obnoxious, that one. But you offered her a drink, apparently? Listen, I don't know why she showed up, but I've told you everything that happened before the train sped up. Are you not satisfied? Will you two relent? Mm, I'm understanding the scenario. Vector visited to play games, Rouge couldn't find something, and left, then Knuckles destroyed the machine. That all makes sense to me. Thank you for answering so many of our que- Actually, that's not everything, is it, Knuckles? I want to step back to something I noticed. One more name on that high score list doesn't make sense. Is it Ultimate? Furzy, can you take a look one more time? An odd name on the high score list. What is Tails talking about? Ultimate. Here we go. Yeah, this one. Unless it's freaking Shadow because he's a butthead. All the other names have a food theme but this one. Who here goes by Ultimate? You may not know, Furzy, but there is someone here that goes by the title The Ultimate Hedgehog. The Ultimate Life Form! It's freaking Shadow! <laughs> the Ultimate Life Form. There's some, really someone here that goes by that? Nothing sneaks by you, does it, bud? Vector and I were struggling so much with the game, but then Shadow dropped by. So Shadow was here too? He taught us the game and was the first to get his name on the scoreboard. Vector and I then fought to beat Shadow's score. They're both very annoying. You all immediately had to compete, huh? He gave me this before he left. A key! Shadow told me to lock the door and not to open it for anyone, then he left. When Vector was leaving, I locked the door behind him, saw no one else after locking the door. That's the honest truth. So when Amy came through here not too long ago, did you open the door for her? 
No, I think she has some sort of key, too. That's right, the conductor gave her the special birthday key. Well, I have a lot of questions. What happened in the library to cause Vector to come here? Why is Shadow locking doors? And what was Rouge searching for? I don't know, they didn't tell me, even though I asked with that cowboy accent. You're gonna have to find them and ask them yourselves. More information than I expected to get there, but it seems we can move on. As of right now, I believe your story, Knuckles. We'll only know for sure when we confirm things with Vector. Fair enough, the library is the next car. I'll open the lock for you. Give whoever KO'd Sonic an earful for me, Detective Tails and Butler. I liked it better when he wasn't talking to us. Will do, Sheriff. Come on, Furzy, let's head to the library. On it! This is way more exciting than microwave and chili dogs. <laughs> Save. Okay. Furzy! Coming! Ready to mosey down to the next car? You got it, partner. Onwards! The library. Hang in there, it's a chow! <laughs> Save the chow! Is that a creepy Tails doll on the side? Did they just fill this whole thing with references? All this stuff's getting heavy, I'll dump what I don't need. Everyone's favorite journalist reporter, Amy Rose, is hot on the scoop. I'm heading out. You've been fabulously helpful. All ready? Before you go, Espy and I want to give you your presents. My presents? You're both too sweet. Thank you. Vector, it seems we have more guests. Amy, there you are. Have you found any leads yet? Oh, the detective pair needs help for the birthday girl? Uh, she knows everyone's allowed to be sassy on their birthday. This tip is just too juicy to ignore. I'll see you all... See you all around. Don't worry, Sonic. I'll be the one to avenge you and quick. But how are you going to leave? The door to the next car is locked. Oh, you doubt the birthday girl? The birthday girl has a master key. Right, right. The birthday girl gets the birthday key. Of course, it's a birthday privilege. I'll solve this case before anyone else. Bye! Amy may be hasty, but she's thorough. Now, what are you two doing? Looking mighty suspicious, I'd say. I'm the detective, so I can't be the murderer. And I'm a... Here you ask me, I was hungry. Starved! I'd kill for a chicken parmesan right about now. Maybe kill isn't the right language to use right now. I'm Vector, the butcher. I'm licensed to handle raw meat. And I'm Espio, the poet. Ah, poetry! A resonant message from poet to reader meant to challenge our delicate perspectives with the most rhythmic of prose. Can I hear some? Sure, uh... Teardrops in the spring. Can you hear me sing? La la la, d d d. Was that it? I have more if you like. <laughs> I like the little chows. And the, like this one right here. This is like a huge nod to um, Sonic Adventure 2, which I did on my channel. Uh, the chows, you gave them little clickies and little animals, and they would change. So, like, and and you could give them, like, eggshells to put on their heads, too. So this is like using a seal um, a seal uh, animal here with an eggshell on the head. This is a, a halo or a hero chow with a creepy smile. And it's got, like, the parrot and dragon stuff, it looks like. This one is a regular one. It's the phoenix. It's got all phoenix gear. And this one's also a regular one. And it just looks like it doesn't have any animals on it. So that's really cool. Cherry blossoms in the spring. I'm all satisfied for now, thanks. At least he's rhyming, I suppose. Furzy and I are here to establish both of your alibis. Can you walk us through what happened after Amy had everyone leave the dining car? Oh, sure, it's simple. We just explained this to Amy, actually. When we were all sent off, Rouge, Blaze, Shadow, and Sonic all passed through this library car, where Amy told me and SBO to stay. I probably picked a book off the shelf and made myself comfortable. Vector got bored, so he left to see what Knuckles was up to in the saloon car. Yep! Where was Rouge? We happened to see her lipstick stain on a cup of the saloon car. Rouge came over to the library car, seemingly looking for something. Then she went to search the saloon car. She came back shortly after. We heard her shout no way at the brochure stand over there. But she left back to the casino car before Shadow came through and locked the door. I wonder what she found. She's also obviously been on the hunt for something. After Rouge left, Shadow walked through the casino car, then entered the library car and locked the door behind him. More importantly, why has Shadow been locking the doors? Shadow walked through the library car to the saloon car where Knuckles and I were playing games. He insisted on showing us up at Super Monkey Ball. I got so engrossed by the rolling monkey action, I hardly noticed when Shadow left the saloon car. 
I guess he walked through the library cart at the casino cart, again locking the door behind him. Then returned to the lounge cart where he was meant to be stationed. When Vector came back, we realized Knuckles locked the door to the saloon car. We were stuck in the library car. That's when the train sped up. We were worried about the bookshelves falling on us, but we got through it all right. We sat trapped here until Amy arrived asking questions. She's the one that told us someone murdered Sonic. And yeah, that's all that happened. Hmm. With all these locked doors, it seems Vector or Espio couldn't have left the library car or the saloon car. Thank you both for your cooperation. We're gonna, just gonna peek around and we'll return with any questions. If you return with any meat, I'll chop it up for ya! If you like to be serenaded with a poem, I got you covered too. Thanks, guys! Now that I seems solid enough, but we should still search for clues. What we're looking for is any evidence that proves what they're saying is true. We need to confirm Vector's reason for leaving his post and determine if Espio was actually in the library car reading. A tall task, but we can do it. Let's get to the bottom of this, Tails. Absolutely. All right, so. Save. Yeah, he's jamming. Hang in there. A chow hangs precariously from a tree branch. The large text below reads, hang in there. Wow, I really needed to see this. This little chow's hanging there, refusing to use his wings to fly to safety because choosing the hard way is often the most rewarding. That's beautiful. If this chow can stick to his principles and find strength, then I can too. There's no way there was that much thought put into this poster. Right? Ha! Ooh, brochures! There are travel destination ideas here, like amusement parks, caverns, hotels, restaurants, and- Oh! Fuzzy, look at this! There's a couple maps here. This seems to be a map of the library car. The books are categorized by genre, which are listed here. I love a good overhead map. Let's take it. The library map is added to your inventory. Should we take this brochure about a cave, too? Look, there's st stalactites. Nah, I'll leave it. Oh, haha, yeah, that's fair. Nobody shares my fondness for kittens. <laughs> something's always hidden in the trash, check there. I hate to say it, but there's nothing there. Uh, I really thought there'd be something there. Furzy, are you said there was nothing in the trash bin? Uh, no, no, I'm alright. I'm sure, uh, I'm sure there'll be something hidden in the next trash bin we find. You really think so? Um, yeah, we just gotta stay optimistic. Yeah, yeah, okay, these trash bins had a secret, I'm sure of it. Furzy, you're pretty unconventional, but I like that. Was well, that supposed to be a compliment? Globe of our marvelous planet. I haven't traveled around much. The islands are fun and all, but I'd like to visit some of the countries. They're a lot of fun, honestly. Plenty of wonderful people and shops. The food can't be beat either. Well, it sounds perfect for a vacation. The conductor was talking about Spago Spagonia, if you've ever been there. I have, actually. If you're ever visiting, be sure to stop at the university and say hi to Professor Pickle. He'll tell you everything about the area and makes one scrumptious sandwich. I'll keep that in mind, thanks. This group knows everyone has been everywhere, haven't they? Yeah, they kind of have. Oh, poor thing, that arm is really struggling cleaning up this car. To be fair, I wouldn't want to clean up all this mess either. Let's just leave it alone to do its thing. Yeah, probably for the best. What's this bright red book? Oh, yuck, this reeks of the evil scientist Dr. Eggman. Yep, this is Dr. Eggman's autobiography and recipe book. What kind of recipes? Who cares? I won't trust any book he's written. It's weird this is even here. Maybe people just appreciate an omelette. You may not be wrong. <laughs> so many books on the ground. An omelette and he's Eggman. Okay. I wish we had time to pick them all up. I sadly have no interest in picking up these books. A lot of these were knocked out by the train speeding up. LaRouche pulled a, a lot of these out too, searching for something. What reckless behavior. I feel sorry for the poor books. The spines are creasing. They're opening up too far. This kid feels empathy for everything. Okay. Ah, okay. Here we go. Wow, I wish I could stop and look at all these books. Oh, I'd be lost in here. But Sonic needs me. No time to rest. Alright, let's move on then. Well, I mean, a little peek would have hurt. He's scavenging through all the book tiles excitedly. It's like a kid in the candy shop, or in this case, a genius at a train library. That's odd. I know some books have fallen out on the floor and everything, but every book on these shelves is in alphabetical order, but this one. The Mirage Express Manual. It's the user guide to the Mirage Express the train we're currently on. Do you think someone found it on the ground and put it back? Maybe, but it is interesting. Let's make a note of this. Okay. Shadow supposedly walked through the library car before going into the saloon car. When Shadow left the library car, he locked this door on his way out. There's gotta be a reason he's doing this. Should we make a note of it? Yeah, I do believe we should. Shadow's lock is added to your inventory. 
I think we found enough clues. Let's go interrogate Vector and Espio to find out what really happened. Did you bring me any meat to chop? I may be a butcher, but they confiscated my meat cleaver before getting on the train. You actually try to bring a knife on the train? I'm a man of authenticity, Tails. Without a knife, I'm just a chef in a ketchup stained apron, not a butcher. I think if you had a knife on you, we'd definitely think you were the murderer. Hmm, but what if I hid the knife? You know, I'm not the biggest fan of this line of thought. <laughs> Can I take your order? Oh yes, please, I'm starved. Uh. You heard that I could trust you. You made a fool of me. Look, Furzy, you made him a fool. Come on, Furzy, smooth this over. No, I'm the fool. Yeah, yeah. Smooth things over, but at what cost? <laughs> Start interrogation. So, the two of you don't believe us, huh? It's not that I don't trust either of you, but I want to be a proper detective without examining the validity of your alibis. Furzy and I are here to confirm two things. Why Vector left to go play games with Knuckles, and if Espio really was reading in the library car. Vector, we'll start with you. Why did you leave the library car to visit Knuckles? We prepared to present evidence if need. Oh, that's easy. I got bored. What? I wasn't entertaining him enough. It seems that Vector enjoys being social. Plus, we were instructed to mingle. I remember the arcade machine in the saloon car, so I figured I'd go check it out. This seems to line up with the information we gathered with Knuckles. And that brings our attention to you, SPL. Rouge entered the library car, found something, and left. You said you immediately started reading, but were you actually reading the entire time you were in the library car? Of course he was! Once Espio starts reading, he doesn't stop until it's done. I've seen it happen. It must have been a good read. What was the book? Espio doesn't owe you that, detective. Let the man live. What if it was embarrassing? What kind of things do you think I read? <laughs> if you won't talk, I have a hunch on what the book might be. Furzy, could you help me out? Alright, Furzy, what book do you think Espio might have been reading? Morales Express Manual. A manual? You think Espio was reading instructions? Why are you because you possibly have to support this? Alright, here we go. 40 rings this time. Okay. Ooh, I missed it. Okay, let's try that again. Yep, try it again. Try that again. I'm bad at this. Wasn't that close. Ow. Oh, perfect. Got enough. Oh. There are books scattered around the floor, sure, but the remaining books on the shelves were all in alphabetical order. All except this manual, meaning someone, at the very least, picked the manual up and put it back in the incorrect place. Espio. This lack of attention to detail isn't normally like you, Espio. Hey, now, I won't have you insulting my pal like that. Calm down, Vector. I know you mean well, but I can handle myself. Apologies, Espio. But you're in a poet. Friendship can form anywhere. That is indeed the book I was reading, the Mirage Express Manual. The trains are cool. In that case, we'd like to ask you a few questions about the manual. Furzy, if you don't mind. Could you ask Espio some questions about the manual? Just look to a page and ask away. Oh, I see. Quiz Espio about the manual and prove he read it. Which page should I quiz him on? 362. Okay, um, what efficient and extremely accurate technology was installed to assist in keeping the train spotless? Robotic arms. During events, they can perform a variety of tasks and are responsible for cleaning up trash and messes afterwards. I remember the conductor saying the train can clean itself, though I have a feeling the train company just didn't want to hire any janitors. Robotic arms can also detect weapons or explosives being brought into the train, ensuring passenger safety. Seems like SBO ace that question, Fuzzy. Fuzzy, hit him with another one. Oh, okay, which page do I choose? Uh, 89. What is the Mirage Express's cancellation policy? No refunds, you will be charged with a no show fee. This does not apply if you're over the age of 65. Gee, the person who made this rule must have been over 65. <laughs> Last one, Furzy. Let's see if Espio can go three for three. 
Gosh, which page should I pick last? Let's do, uh, 16. What was implemented to support the conductor's duties and ease general train obligations? An intelligent data processing system. It works in tandem with the conductor to assure smooth travel for guests. I remember this. The train has an autopilot that can't access its full suite of capabilities with the conductor present. Now that I passed your little test. Yeah. Totally. It's why you were able to retain all this information so quickly. A poet's brain is often surprising. I don't know if I'd be bragging about that. You've clearly read the manual. Those answers feel far too specific to be guesses. And you both had the nerve to question my buddy like that. Don't we want to be supporting folks who read? Yes, we do. You have to admit, though, reading the entire time a murder occurred does sound a bit suspicious, even if true. But he answered all my questions so calmly, that's very impressive. No, oh, no, I understand everyone's cautious attitudes. Vector was the only one to see me reading, after all. My alibi is hard to substantiate, despite being the truth. Well, you definitely read through the manual, so I suppose we can- Espio, is that true? Vector was the only one to see you reading? Yes, that's correct. Problem? Frankly, I don't believe that can be true, and we have evidence to back it up. Furzy? He always puts me on the spot. Okay, Furzy, think. You should have things that lead to someone who saw Espio reading, but what? Uh, Shadow's Lock? Shadow's Lock? Please, 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 please. Okay. Yeah, hopefully this is right. Okay, I'm good. All right, phew. Those are nerve wracking. Shadow walked through the library car to get to the saloon car where he set the original high score on the arcade machine. Yeah, but I ended up beating it. It wasn't the high score long. Crocs are natural gamers. Espio said he saw Shadow enter the library car, but he's mentioned nothing about Shadow's return. He only mentioned that Vector came back. When Shadow left Knuckles and Vector in the saloon car, Espio was fully seated, reading his book for a good while at this point. We know Shadow had to walk back to the library car when he left the saloon car. So there's absolutely no way Shadow and Espio didn't notice one another on Shadow's return trip. Uh, I mean, it was a simple slip-up. I was just fully immersed in my book that I didn't know Shadow. You're telling me the sound of doors opening and locking would have caused you to look up? Well, I... you see... I could sense Espio's desperation here, defending the argument that he was reading the entire time isn't easy. So if you didn't see Shadow returning for the saloon car to lock all the doors, then at that moment were you really in the library call at all? But how would Espio leave? Shadow locked all the doors and no one saw Espio on the saloon car. It's a mystery, my dear Furzy, one that I would love for Espio to solve. You gotta believe me. That cool demeanor is vanishing. I was so involved in my book I didn't notice Shadow passed by through the library car, honest. When Vector returned, he even had to tap me on the shoulder to get my attention. Yeah, I think I remember doing that. I must avenge my friend's death, so I'll ask you again, Espio. If you weren't there for Shadow to see you reading, then how did you leave the library car? I wasn't. I didn't. Why doesn't this seem right to me? Tails definitely feels like he's onto something, but I don't see it. Was Espio simply sitting reading, or did he somehow vanish to not notice Shadow's return to the library car? What should I do? This save. Espio can go invisible, that's one of his things. I'm gonna join Tails. No, I can't interrupt Tails while he's onto something. I'll let him continue this line questioning and Protect the passengers, okay. The lost is with torture, so allows such an old people still to get sued. Oh my god. How do I make sure I guess to take it out? I have to speak out. Tails! You have a piece of evidence that can answer all of our problems. Alright, my fellow associate, lay it on me. What piece of evidence shows Shadow and Espio could have seen one another? The map? The library map. Alright, now let's get my thoughts in order. Okay. Woo! 
Ooh, barely missed that one. Okay, got it. I actually got way over even though I did get hit. The library map? Oh, oh I see. See the exits? They're right across from one another. A straight path. If Shadow walked down the straight path, there's a way Espy and Shadow could have seen one another. Looks like you have to point out where exactly on the map you meet. Where could Aspio have been for Shadow to not see him? Okay, so there's that. Here? Interesting. That's where I was sitting reading my book. I can second this. When I returned from the saloon car, Espio was in the same spot. That confirms it then. You see, Shadow and Espio could have seen one another from that spot. From this spot. Because the bookcase is in the way. There's no way Shadow could have seen Espio, or vice versa. It makes a lot of sense why you never mentioned Shadow who turned Espio. There's just no way you would have seen him. I apologize for losing my cool back there. I felt like I was grasping, despite telling the truth. But I'm glad you all believe me now. Your alibi isn't the most airtight, but I have no further points. Thank you for both answering all our questions. We, we did it! Another pair of alibis! Validated! Too many locked doors to worry about, but I'm glad everybody, everything straightened itself out in the end. Well, I'm exhausted. I'm gonna crash here for a bit. These chairs are so comfy. Likewise, I can use a breather. Sadly, our work isn't done. I have plenty of questions for Rouge, and especially Shadow. Oh, it seems the door to the next car is open. Amy must have kept it open when she passed through earlier. Then that's our cue to leave. See you later, Vector and Espio. Give them heck! And if you need any meat chopped up, say the word! I'll keep my poetry sharp for you both. A murder is on the loose while doors keep getting locked. Tick tock. Tick tick tock goes the clock while our heroes are in the caboose. At this point, I'm feeling pretty confident in our detective abilities. We're really doing this. Come on, Furzy, let's see what's next. Coming. All right, so I'm gonna save here. I'm gonna go ahead and end this episode here for the night. I'm gonna continue this tomorrow though, because this sounds, this is, I should say, a ton of fun. I'm really enjoying it. So I hope you all enjoyed this and I will see you guys in the next video. With that, have a great night and bye-bye.